Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. I want y'all to hear my morning motivational if y'all miss me this morning. It was hard getting on this morning. It, it was a struggle. I want to thank if you, you guys. If you would, please that share this with somebody. And those that are tuned in, I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope um, y'all can again, hear it. Let me know I if you can hear it or not. If you are on. I am the queen herself. I am your certified life coach. Here to I hope everybody's having a great morning. To your purpose. Yes, your God-given purpose. I tell you, my guest today was supposed to be Dr. Sonia Gray. As you guys know, those. Those of you that follow my platform know that um, Dr. Sonia Gray is um, having surgery on today. So we want to honor her still on today and remember her in your prayers. Um, I, I just want to go into prayer really quick. And um, I, I, I ask, you know, I, I needed something for this show this morning because um, I, I wanted to encourage her. Um, in case she heard this later on. And I also want to encourage you guys. You know, this month, uh, we're, we're starting a new month. This may be a new year for somebody. Somebody may be starting their they year off now. This may be their new year start. This, this is a new month for somebody. This is a new day. This is a new hour that we hadn't yet seen. Everything today is a new for us. So some of us had to be renewed. Some of us had to be reset. Some of us had to be restored. But whatever, wherever we are right now, we have to know that God is ready to release in you everything that you've been asking him for if you just believe and hold on to his word. I tell you, this month, for those that follow me um, and those that are coming on this month to help me bring you guys motivation, um, their word this month is help. And, and and when he gave me that word, y'all know he broke them words down to me. He gave me a calendar to put it in, gave me a book, Words um, Have Power. I'm currently um, getting that book edited. Um, I'm getting it revised because he's giving me some more words, and I got to include those words. But this month, the, the month of March, and we're marching our way into this month, and we're going to march our way on through this month. I tell you, the word for this month is help. <laughs> yes, help. Y'all, the word help, H-E-L-P. And when he dropped that word in my spirit some months ago, um, the word help. The H means healed. The E means empowered. The P means power. I mean, I'm sorry, the L means live, and the P means power. So let me break it down to you. He says, you're healed to empower others to live in their power that's within them. So you 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 are healed so that you can empower others to know the power that's on the inside of them, y'all. That's what help is. So everybody that's coming on this month, they're gonna be em empowering you. They're gonna they're gonna be breaking down what that word help means to them. But y'all you see that word power keeps showing up. Everywhere we go, that word power keeps showing up. Y'all, I was on my walk this morning, and that word showed up. But let me tell you how good God is, y'all, because I, 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 I can't, I, I, I have to stay right here. Y'all, when help, when I was asking about that, he took me to Psalms 46, y'all. Y'all know I've been on Psalms 46 all of 2020. Psalms 46 and 10, matter of fact. For the whole 2020, going into 2020, I was on Psalms 46 and 10. Be still and know that I'm God. That was what he had me on. So y'all know I'm turning 46 this year. So he took me right back to Psalms 46 for my birthday. Starting March the 7th, we're going to be going into 21 days of prayer leading up to my birthday celebration. 21 days of prayer. March the 28th. Join me. Four days before my actual birthday. Y'all, I'm telling you, God is not only, if we be intentional about the things of God, He'll be intentional about the things of you. He intentionally remind me of who He is in my life. Right in His Word, right in His Scripture, right in everything that I'm doing, let me know that I am lined up with what He has called me to do. I, I thank him for this Monday morning motivation. I hope somebody's being motivated this morning. I hope that when you hear this replay that you're being encouraged, that you're being helped, that that, that that word help, help you heal to empower others to live in their power. I want you to get
get it. I want you to understand it. I want you to walk that thing out because Dr. Sonya Gray is, is, is getting her healing right now. And she go under the knife as a doctor uh, 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 operating on her. She's getting her healing in her physical body because she has, she, she, she took on the mandate to empower others. So her thing is she can't live any kind of way. She got to live right. So she wants to live in the power that God has placed on the inside of her. And I can say that about her because I know that about her because I, 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 they say know those that labor amongst you. Y'all, I sit amongst this, 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 this woman of God. I, I hear her cry out. I hear her pray. I know the pain that she deal with. I know the suffering that she's under, the long suffering that she's enduring. So I can come on here and I can say these things. But y'all, I want y'all to lift her up in prayer. I, I, I want us to build a hedge of protection around her. That when this healing, when she come out from under this knife, when she come out from under this 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 this, this, this anesthesia and all of this, that this physical healing that needs to take place in her body, take place speedily, and that she's able to be back to functioning, and her body is lining up the way God has ordained it to line up. And I'm a believing God. And I'm believing everybody that hears this is going to believe the same thing for her. Because I'm believing God is going to renew her. He's going to reset her. And he's going to restore her as the surgeon operate on her. In the physical, he's getting ready to operate on her in the spiritual. And I'm believing that for her. I thank God for her on today. So I'm going to go into prayer. I know, y'all, I went all out there real quick. Like, y'all, I can't, when, and, I, and I'm, I, I can't apologize because I have to do what God tell me to do when he tell me to do. When I said, when I went over in Exodus and found that word and I wrote that word down and I understand that word, they say, when you understand, when you understand something, you do better, y'all. When you come into the knowledge of something, you, you, you don't just see it, you don't just read it, but you become a doer of that word. So I, 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 I got that word, and it got down in my spirit. You know, no, I'm not no Bible scholar. I'm not no theologian. I'm not none of that. But I said, Lord, I'll be willing. I, I'm a willing vessel because I, I, I've been doing some things. I've been through some things. i experienced some things in my life that I can share with some other people that will help them, that will educate them, that will empower them, that will encourage them so they don't have to go down the same roads that I went down. So that's why I bring people on here every Monday to share with you guys. And Sonya would have been on here today. Dr. Sonya Gray would have been on here today doing the same thing that I'm doing right now to encourage Hey, you. hey, my but spiritual dad. Doctors had to operate because God is getting ready to move too in her life. Just as the doctors operate on her, God's getting ready to operate on her as well. No, it ain't what everybody think. It ain't, it ain't what we think. But it's what God is getting ready to do for her because she's excellent. She's getting ready to honor what she wants. I thank God for it on today. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you right now. Lord, I thank you for being a willing vessel. I thank you for humbling me, Lord God. I thank you for move, removing me out of the way, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for waking me up every morning at 5 a.m. Lord, I thank you for allowing Sister Pam and Dr. Sonia Gray to, to unite with me and, and be a part of this project. Lord, I ask that as Dr. Sonia Gray go under the knife, Lord God, if she's already went, Lord God, I ask that you study the, the, the surgeon's hand, the anesthesia, and everyone that's involved, Lord God, I ask that you line them up with your will, your word, and your way. Father, I thank you for what you're doing in this very hour, not just in my life and those that, that are a part of the, uh, the, the call here today and those that will hear this, Lord God, but everyone that is connected to us, Lord God. Those that have shown themselves and those that have not, Lord God. I thank you for them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the fresh anointing that you're dropping upon your people, Lord God. Those that have that, that those that have woken up during this time, Lord God. But those that have, have now allowed you to open their inner eyes so that they can see, they can get the insight on what they can see in the physical, Lord, but they can see it in the in, in the spirit, Lord. Lord, I thank you that it's not just a, a, a natural uh, a, a occurrence and a natural being, but Lord, we're having a spiritual experience in this in, in this in this physical natural body, Lord God. I thank you. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for touching those all over this world, Lord God. I thank you for touching those that are homeless, Lord God, those that are roaming to and from, those that are lost, those that are confused, Lord God. 
I thank you for right now, Lord God. I thank you for sending your ministry angels right now to minister to them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you for those that are incarcerated right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for how you're going to open the, the, the gates, Lord God, and, and, and allow those that need to be set free to be set free, Lord God. I thank you for how you are allowing those that are behind prison walls, Lord God, to line up with your word and your will, Lord God, that they may fall into your conviction, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for all that you're doing right now, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you that it is not just words on the page, Lord God, but it's, it is life. It is life to our life, Lord. I thank you that it's living inside of us, Lord God, and it gives us the power to be who we, who you've purposed us to be, who you've called us to be, who you've positioned and postured us to be, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now. I thank you, God. I thank you for Dr. Sonia Gray, Lord God. I lift her up, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have your way. Lord, you have your way. You have your way with every person that will hear this, Lord God. Lord, you have your way with every person that will follow this, this, this Monday morning motivation, Lord God. You have your way with them, Lord God. Lord, you send them. You send the ones that you will have to follow this platform, Lord God. They need to be uplifted. They need to be educated. They need to be empowered, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for going before us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for smoothing out every crooked road in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for leveling every hill and every mountain right now in the name of Jesus. Mm. Lord, I thank you for lifting us up to the mountaintops in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hey, bye-bye, bye, see, hey, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for being who you say you are. Huh. In our lives, Lord God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this morning, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for the very call that I received before I came on out, Lord God. Now, Lord, you do the work. You do the work, Lord. You do the work. You do the work, Lord. You do the work for your people, Lord God. Every prayer that's been lifted, Lord God, since this 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 concentration, this prayer concentration started, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you do the work. You do the work. Lord, you know the concerns, you know the needs, you know the desires, you know the wants, you know everything about us. Ah, yeah, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for being just who you say you would be in all of our lives. Lord, I thank you for opening my eyes and my ears that I may hear your word. Not just hear your word, Lord God, but be a doer of your word. Lord, I thank you for daily I die and you increase in me. Lord, continue to have your way. Never let it be about Angela, Lord God, but let it be about you. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I hope you guys have been encouraged on today. I didn't even, I don't even think I got to the scripture, but you know, sometimes you just have to let God flow how he want to flow. Because it's not about Angela, it's not about me, it's not about me coming on here and having a show. It's not about me coming on here and doing this because I can do this. No, that's not what it's about. It's about me coming on here and sharing to uplift you, to educate you, to empower you, to encourage you, to press on, to let you know that you have a purpose, to let you know that God didn't just drop you here, and to let you know if you just turn, whatever you're going through, no matter where you are in life, it does not matter. You can be at your lowest. You can be at the deepest pit in your life. You can be at the darkest point in your life. If you humble yourself, if you humble yourself, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he will. He will come in if you welcome him. He'll come in. He's not going to come when he's not wanted. That's one thing about him. He give us free will. So we have, the, we have the right and the choice to choose him. And if we choose him, he'll come in. But he's not going to come when he's not wanted. See, the word says, draw nigh unto him, and he'll draw nigh unto you. But you got to draw unto him. And you got to mean it. You got to live some type of life. If you want him to come, you got to be living some type of way. You can't live unholy and think he's going to dwell. So you got to get your temple right. And see, that's something that I said I have to do. I've been in church all my life, but the church ain't always been in me. And I just have to be real and I have to be transparent. Because I know some people out there like, this girl, she keep doing this, she keep doing this, she ain't right, she ain't right. 
You don't know my journey. You don't know where he got me at. And you don't know where I've been. And you don't know where he woke me up. But the thing for you to do is to find yourself in him. And then when you find yourself, then you can see me. He said, he, see, he tells, my word tells me that I have no hell or no heaven to put you in. All I'm supposed to do is love you. I'm supposed to love you even when you say those things about me. Because I know who I am and I'm comfortable with who I am. That's why I'm able to. I'm a willing vessel. I'm able to be a willing vessel. Because over in Exodus, he said, if I open my mouth, he'll speak for me. I ain't got to be no theologian. I ain't got to be no pastor. I ain't got to be no evangelist. I ain't got to be no prophetess. I ain't got to be none of that. All I got to do is open my mouth and he will speak for me. And all I want you to know is you have purpose. And that he's placed you here with a purpose. That's all I want you to know. If you don't get nothing else from me, if you don't follow me no more, if you don't do nothing else, that's all I want you to know. That you got purpose. That's all. And I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. And if ain't nobody else told you, know that. But Psalms 46 and 1 say, God is our refuge and strength. A very, a very present help in trouble. So whatever your trouble is, whatever you're going through, he's your refuge and he's your strength. Hey, uncle. He's already there. All you got to do is give it to him. Turn it over and give it to him. Ain't nothing nobody told me. It's something that I've endured. Yeah, I'm going to endure some more because I'm going to continue to live. I'm not going to stop living. I'm going to keep living. But you know what? Hey, somebody, like somebody said, I, I've heard somebody say, you know, I'm going to go through, yeah, I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through a lot of things if I keep living. But let me tell you one thing, my, 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 the, the time it, it, I have to endure, it won't be long. The time is getting shorter. What are you willing to endure? And how short can your endurance be? See, it, it, it's how you live that determines how long you go through. How long you going to suffer? Are you, are, are you tired of suffering? I want you guys to be encouraged. Know that I love you. I'll see you guys next Monday. Next Monday, next Monday, next Monday, I will have Stephanie Johnson Wright. So tune in next Monday. Get your half hour of power with the queen herself, Angela Thomas Smith. Her certified life coach here to educate, empower, and encourage you into your purpose. Yes, your God-given purpose. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and be blessed.